So in this example, we're going to look at how to plot unit step functions in MATLAB. The unit step function is often used in linear systems courses to control when signals turn on and off. So being able to query a function and plot it or use it in a computation is something very useful in MATLAB. In this little script right here, what I'm actually doing is generating a few different examples of unit step functions and then plotting them at the end. This unit step function is pretty simple to use. Just something I wrote, if you give it a time vector and then the time where the unit step changes, then it will return a vector that you can plot versus time. So first, let's just take a look at this function to understand how that works. The first input is just a vector of times, and then the second input is the time where the unit step switches value. So I actually coded this up to be able to handle unit steps that either turn on at a certain time and then kind of go to the right in time, or unit steps that are on and then turn off at the switch time. So that's what this code right here is doing. It's figuring out, hey, is this a unit step function that's been given a time vector that is uh, you know, turning off at a certain time or turning on at a certain time? So if it's a time reversed unit step, something that's on and turns off, it goes through this code path. And if it's a unit step that is off and turns on, it goes through this code path. And all I'm doing, once I figure out the kind of the direction that time is going, I'm just doing a little min find command to find what the time value is closest to the switch time. And then I'm finding the population indices to set to a value of one. So it gets initialized at zero no matter what. And then once the indices are found that should be on, these indices are set to one at the very end. So let's just take a look at how to use this. So let's go ahead and run this script. So here I'm creating a unit step that will be off and turn on at time three. With, which has unit amplitude. On this line right here, I'm creating a unit step that will be off and turn on at time negative four, and its amplitude will be negative two. This is an example of doing a time reversed unit step. So this unit step will actually be on for all time and then turn off at time five. So you can see how I did that a little different here. On the first two, I actually passed in a time vector that was the time vector. Here I pass it the negative of the time vector, so I'm flipping the time axis so the unit step function knows how to handle that. And then finally, here is a unit step that is off and turns on at time zero. So let's go ahead and start up a figure. We can plot each of these. In blue, we've plotted the one that was off and then turned on at time three. So you can see it transitions right at time three. Turn the grid on, get some tick marks there. Let's go ahead and plot U2. So U2 was one that was off and then turned on at time negative four. So you can see it was off and then turned on at time negative four. And the value it turns on to is negative two, because that's what we set the amplitude to. So it will jump to negative two. The unit step three was one that was on and then turned off at time five, because we queried this one with the negative of the time vector. So let's see here. So indeed, this function right here, or this signal uh, was go. So the signal was on and had a value of 6 because that was what we said the amplitude to be. And then at time 5, it turned off. And then finally, this unit step 4 example is one that has an amplitude of 2 and turns on at time 0. So if we go ahead and let that finish plotting, here's what we end up with. Four different unit step examples and they were all called just by, or plotted just by calling this unit step function with a common time vector and then using our typical plot commands. So hopefully that'll help if you need to generate unit steps or need a function that can do that. This is a pretty unit useful function to have.